Never underestimate the power of a woman with a skid steer. So this is one of the hazards of working these old fields that haven't been worked up in years, and that is gigantic rocks, uh, partly buried by the sod, but slowly coming up. And uh, in this case, this field, this section of this field, we've never plowed. So this is sod that probably hasn't been dug up in, I don't know, 50 years. And so it was growing in pretty heavily in willow and alder brush. And we've turned it over and we'll replant hayseed covered next year by oats. But in the meantime, we want to get at some of these rocks so we're not banging our equipment and breaking mowers and combines and things like that on rocks. Rock number two. There's no way I thought this one would come this easily. Never underestimate the power of a woman with a skid steer. So the last thing that moved these rocks was a glacier. Uh, I'm sure they've all been sitting right here since then. Well, that was quick. While Don fills in a few more holes that we created by pulling rocks with their skid steer. I'm gonna get back to disking and smoothing this out, and getting at least one covering or one pass or two passes before spring. And that'll smooth this out enough that if we have a wet spring, we can get in and get it seeded in a reasonable time. Don's continuing to work over there. You can see the skid steer running back and forth using her rock bucket to smooth out the dead furrows up along the edge of the lawn. We want to make sure that's nice and smooth for when we put oats in. Plus, it's just nice to leave a landowner's lawn looking better than we found it. 